Great. We'll start with our bands. With the band behind your back. Wait till your teacher gets your shirt off. And we're going to put your hands palm up and exhale. We'll push out and exhale. We're going to start with the palms up, the ribs are flat, your feet are roughly underneath your hips, your knees are long but soft, pressing out, exhaling, feel your belly pull in, and take eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, now we're gonna take the stretch, take your arms wide and let the arms come behind you and hold, shoulders, chest, five, four, three, two, inhale, and then exhale, take the band overhead, pull down, and exhale, two, three, hi Jamie, hi Peggy, four, and five, six, seven, eight, long arms, nine, 10. And anytime the band is overhead, you're making sure that your ribs don't fold forward. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now give a little shoulder roll. We'll do three, two, one. Take the arms out, pull back. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and 15, let's do five more, 16, 17, 18, 19, boy, that worked, 20, relax. Now take your palms up, elbows glued, open up, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, up. Great, take your palms and three wide. Go behind you, one, two, three, four, and five, hold back, five, four, three, two, inhale, and exhale, perfect. Now we're gonna take the bands behind us again, about around the lower shoulder blade. Now this time your palms are up, you're gonna go straight ahead and then out. It's almost like a breaststroke, <clears throat> two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's reverse it. So go out and in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, that was really good. We're going to take this right hand and hold on. Now put it behind you. The left hand's going to hold on around the lower back. And we're going to push up. Exhale. And two. Good. I'm going to come in a little closer. Three, because you don't need to see my legs as much. Four, five. Six, seven, the other shoulder is open. Eight, nine, 10, 11. And just make sure that top wrist 
is pretty straight. You're not letting it get uh, pulled behind you. 15, you're not letting it just sort of yank down. 16, you've got some tone in it. 17, triceps. 18, 19, 20, and then let's take the other one. Hand low and inhale. Now on your exhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. A little bit of a rib tuck will help keep those abs uh, protecting the back. Twelve, thirteen, <clears throat> fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Really good. All right, take a little shoulder roll. <clears throat> the hands are going to go wide and just find a place to stretch the upper back and five or the chest. Sorry, four, three, two, and inhale and exhale. Lower that. Now we're going to take the hands a little closer. The right elbow is going to extend. So this is called a bow and arrow. Two, this arm just keeps still. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16. If it's getting too hard, just give yourself a little slack. 18, 19, and 20. Okay, other side, hand here, push out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Really good, 20. Now we're gonna put the band underneath our two feet. Two feet equalize the sides, biceps, elbows, bend. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Now get rid of that for a moment. Take the band behind you and stretch. Five. Four, three, two, and exhale, bring it back and step in the middle again. Take an inhale and exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Really good. Now give yourself five shoulder rolls for three, two, and one. And then step on the band. Your right foot is going to be on the band. Your front arm is going to go forward. Only about shoulder height, not higher. And you're also trying to keep yourself from leaning back. Four, five, Good, long elbows, six, but there's a little softness in it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go out. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, left hand, left foot, up with your exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now go out. Maybe give yourself a little bit more slack. One, two, your body's upright. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Really good. Perfect. Take the band kind of wide. This is more for stretching. Go behind you. Go behind. Go behind. And then hold. Five. Four. Three, two, find another place, five, four, three, two, find another place, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect, really good. We're gonna still use the bands, but we are gonna sit down for a little bit. Just wanna mix it up today. So sit on the floor and Take your feet in front of you and place your band around the middle of your feet, basically uh, your arch. Take your palms towards each other. Lean back and kind of scoop out your abs. Bend your elbows. Actually, I'm going to grab a little bit more. Bend your elbows. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. It's a bicep curl and an ab crunch. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, good, eighteen, nineteen. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, good, 18, 19. Now on the 20, just lean forward and, and uh, nothing aggressive. Just take a little hamstring stretch, five, four, three, two, and on the one, come up. Now take your band, on the, uh, your hands on the far end and pull. You're gonna be higher than the floor, but lower than your shoulders. So I'll turn so you can see me from the side. So I just don't want your hands to hit the floor. You can just keep them almost like you're making a V. Your um, wrists are pretty straight. You're up in your spine, rear deltoid. You might be able to lengthen your elbow a little bit more, Betty. Let me just see. But lower, yeah, you can still have it lower. Yeah, that way you don't drag your knuckles into the floor. <laughs> but you're long. Three, two, one. Now take the feet like a um, butterfly. Inhale and exhale, hinge. Now you can use your elbows on the inner thighs, relax, your shoulders and your neck, five, four, three, two, and inhale. Now on the exhale, come back up, take your band around your feet again. Now we're going to take an X pattern. So you're going to watch how we do this. One arm up and one arm down. Good. Exhale, pull and pull. Now check in with your wrist. Give them a little bit of a tone so they're pretty flat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. Now take your band and you're going to use your abs to walk your hands more up the band. One upright row, two elbows lead, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sevent
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, good, sixteen, seventeen, abs two, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, come up. <clears throat> Take your legs out wide like a V and exhale, go right down the middle. <sighs> and relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Relax your mind. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, and exhale. Come back up, take your band around your feet. Now, you're gonna cross this. Good, walk your hands up in towards the feet. Now bend your elbows. I'm gonna keep my palms up. Michelle, it'll be interesting to see which way you like. You could take um, palms towards each other or palms up. So just see what's comfortable. Your rear deltoid is getting, I'll turn so you can see me, is also getting some work. <clears throat> Your upper back is tall. You're not rounded forward or leaning back on this. Biceps are also working. Lats are also working. Exhale. Rowing. You're tall. Exhale. Five, four, three, two. Now we're gonna open up a little bit. 10, so the elbows are a little further away. Nine, from your ribs, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, wonderful. Now open up the legs again. We're gonna take the side stretch. So put one hand, let's say the left goes to the inner right knee, your right arm goes out and hold. Breathe into that right rib cage. Stretching. Yeah, I can exhale that tension away and you might get lower. Five, four, three, two. Exhale up. Let's hit the other side. Hand, hand across. Go inhale up. Breathing into that rib cage. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Inhale, come up. Now take the band around your feet again. We're mixing things up. You're uh, gonna cross your strap. So cross that, it's an X. Flip your palms up, look at your wrist and open. All right, now your elbows are glued by your side. You're doing external rotation. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more, I don't have enough. By the way, as I look at my band, I can see that I need to put a little powder on them. So every now and then um, they uh, just need a little powder because our hands, I, like I have lotion on my hands sometimes or a um, little bit of sweat can get on this and then they'll start to degrade. So you also don't want to leave these in a sunshine spot. They want to be in a, a dry, cool place. But because I can see that I've had some lotion on, I'm going to put some powder on this later and that'll help your band. 
extend the, the lifespan of your band. So take three, two, one. Now flip your palms. Now exhale, rotate to the right and then rotate to the left. Exhale, rotate to the right and exhale. Now it's like you're at old fashioned barber shop um, sign. You're rotating around your upper back. Exhale, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect job. And then we're gonna take the knees into a double triangle. I also call this mermaid. Right arm, left elbow, go up and over. And just make this your own. You can rotate a little bit forward or back. Find a place. Five, four, three, two, Inhale, let that hand come behind you and add rotation. Look over your shoulder, five, four, three, two. Inhale, and exhale. Let's take it to the other. Hand, knee, up and over. Good, Michelle, beautiful. Lengthening through the arm, you can feel more stretch. It's like you're trying to keep your hip down and reach your arm away from it, like someone's pulling your arm. You can rotate. Take an inhale. And an exhale, the hand comes down. Now add rotation. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then just to counterpose the spine, let those legs go wide again and go right down the middle. Five, four, Three, two, and here. And exhale to come back up. Perfect. All right, we're going to come up to uh, standing position again and use our free weight. So that was really good. Thank you for uh, experimenting with different positions on this band. So that's very fun. We're going to take the stand up position. Now, if you need a step, this is a good time to take it. And we're gonna take a bicep curl with a weight that's somewhere between three and probably 12 pounds. I'll take a, I'll take a chin today. All right, so take your exhale and pull up. Now the palms are facing the sky, but another way to do it, like Michelle and I, I wanna do the um, hammer grip. Good, now your elbows are pretty stable here. The main thing I like to make sure of is that your shoulders are not poking forward. You want to make sure they're safe. So if in doubt, shoulder placement is the shoulders like to be shoulder blade down the back. Another little cue is that you're not coming up so high that you're hanging out in a place where you don't even feel it. So inhale and exhale and inhale and exhale. Your torso is stable. You're not leaning forward and back. You're not swaying forward and back five. Four, three, two, one more, inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna lower these weights down so that we can take a stretch and then we'll come right back into it. Take your hand behind you and interlace and open up. Five, four, three, two, and let's take an interlace finger and push up. Five, four, good, breathe, three, two, 
and inhale up and go over and five, four, three, two, and go up and inhale, go back, up, inhale, and exhale. Gorgeous. Let's take another um, uh, two weights. This is going to be a for a tricep. So you can take anywhere from three uh, pounds in each hand to six pounds in each hand. We're going to do an overhead press. So for example, I have two fives. We're going to, uh, not overhead press, we're going to do a tricep press. So inhale, now on your exhale, press up, bend the elbows. It's almost like you're shaving the back of the head. Inhale and exhale. Now from the side, you're making sure your ribs aren't poking forward at your pelvis. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. Let's take those out so we can take a stretch. Triceps. Now take your hand and help it. Lift up tall. Five, four, three, two. Go over. Five, four, three, two, one. Now up, other side, tricep, beautiful, breathe. Knees soft, and up and over, five, four, three, beautiful, two, inhale, ah, and exhale, one, good. Let's shake it out a little bit. Now we're gonna do an upright row, looks like this, anywhere from three to eight pound weights in each hand. And we're gonna take an inhale, and on your exhale, push up or pull up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, good, 18, 19, 20. Now lower those weights, really good job. We're gonna take a, uh, what's it called? Um, closed line arms. So it's like you have clothes on the line and you're drying them and the wind's blowing. Four, three, two, inhale, and exhale. And now we're gonna take a little different exercise. It's gonna be a lighter weight, so it's gonna be raises for the shoulders. So probably three to five pounds. Um, we would say six is a little heavy for most of us, but your palms can be facing your thighs. Knees are long. All right, let's go forward. Now, if you've decided that's gonna to be too heavy, uh, another way to get through this is just do one and then one. All right, so together, uh, we're gonna to do 10 and then we're gonna do one and one. But remember, if you need to do it less, you can do one and one right now. Alternating right, left. Exhale, good, five more. Just go in shoulder height, not higher. Good, two, one more. All right, now one and one. Okay, so right and left and right and left and right and left. All right, you're doing great. Two more each. We're 
We're going to um, just give a little roll. We're going to go out to the side. Here we go. Now, when you go to the side, you can still see your weights in the peripheral vision. And three. And four. And five. And six. And seven. And eight. And nine. And 10. Now, if you're tired, stop. If you can do five more, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Perfect. Let's get rid of that. And let's do a fun stretch that is for the rear shoulder. So take your right arm underneath your left, cross your elbows. Good. Now, if you want to um, make a complete yoga pose, sit down in a chair. And then if you want to add one more, wrap your right foot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Come up. <laughs> All right, other side. So left arm underneath, palms together. Sit down in a chair. Left thigh crosses once or twice. And you can also make it a modification by just sitting in chair 10. And imagine you're chair 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Inhale and exhale. Come up. Very good. That's wonderful. Let's add on a, it's going to look like this. You see how my back is long? So because this is a heavier weight, you can grab a, a heavier, big muscle. So I'm going to say anywhere from three to 12 pounds. And you're going to stick your booty out. Your back is, as they say, flat, even though it's got its curves, you're not rounded. Exhale, three, four, five. Good, six, your upper back should feel long. Seven, lift your heart a little bit. Eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, good, long back, 13, I'm gonna to turn to you, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, beautiful, 19, 20, and then you guys did so good, we're gonna take those weights back, really good. Those go. And then let's take the right elbow, pat yourself on the back. Now the left arm is going to work its way up. Hold on to your fingers if you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Beautiful. 4, 3, 2. Let it go. Other side. And oh, good, so good. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. This looks great. Inhale. And then exhale. Let that go. Now we're going to take a little um, arm sway. And then just to touch the calves a little bit before we go down, take your Bar or a uh, chair, it's fine. Lift up both heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, one set of single calf raises. Ten, one set, I mean, one side. If it's too hard, just do two feet at the same time. Five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. Inhale. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good. All right. Now one set of chair squats. Ten. We do a lot of legs during the week, and that's why I'm not killing the legs. I'm spending more time on the upper body, but I will just go through 
some of these, five more, five. You don't need your booty bar if you are doing fine without it. Sometimes it's nice just to kind of make sure your weight's back. Two and one. Perfect. Now this will seem um, good if you do a lot of walking in mountains, but we're going to tap our foot. So your right foot is going up and down. And what this does is get the tibialis anterior extensor digitorum's working. And these are shuffling muscles, muscles that if they're not strong, they can tend to shuffle. It also helps prevent shin splints. So I'm going to fatigue, but if I need it harder, I'll weight my body into that shin. You feel how that got harder. Five, four, three, two, other side. Now, just if you're listening to music, tap that foot. And you can shift your weight forward if you need. But if you have anyone in your family that shuffles or you've seen that, this muscle hasn't um, the strength that it needs and the endurance because walking if you keep picking up your toes. So lift up, lean forward, feel that similar burden. All right, and it complements the calf now. Eight. So in Pilates, we're working in symmetry. We don't want just the front half of our body, the mirror muscles strong. We want the back muscles. We, just, we don't want just want the pretty muscles strong. We want the function. All right, that was perfect. Now we're going to take it down to do chest presses. Um, if you don't like chest presses with a weight, you can always do push-ups. But I'm going to show chest presses today because yesterday we did push-ups. Now this is a heavier muscle group stronger. So we're going to be doing uh, this exercise, chest press. So I'm going to say anywhere between three and 12 pounds. Lie down on your back and you can put your feet on the floor. Your feet on the floor are going to keep your lower back a little safer than if you have a long, that makes the low back arch sometimes. Now, if your head's uncomfortable, you can put a pillow under there. And otherwise, you're going to exhale and press, inhale, and exhale and press, inhale, and exhale and press, and inhale, and exhale and press, and inhale, and up, and go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now get rid of those weights for just a moment. And we're going to take the right knee across. The left hand can go on top. The right arm can go out in a stretch. 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, inhale, and an exhale. Let's do the other side, right leg long, left knee over, and hand on your thigh, left arm out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, take an inhale, and an exhale, come up. Now we're going to be taking a fly. So if you had trouble on those last ones, you want a little bit lighter weight. I'm going to just stick with my tens, but uh, probably anywhere from three to 10 pounds. So you're going to open up. And exhale. The really important thing about this is that if you're hypermobile in the elbows, if your elbows bend backwards, you really have to keep an imaginary hug in your arms or a tree in front of you. You can't let the elbows go back right there. You can't let the weight go beyond your elbow. Exhale. And exhale. And exhale. And exhale. Good. It's okay to uh, put a pillow under your head or shoulders if your low back is coming off the floor. Usually though, you can correct the ribs coming off the floor by pulling with the abs, pulling the ribs down and exhale. So you don't want your low back arching excessively off the back, off the floor here. Five, four, three, two, 
Three, two, one more, and one. All right, we're going to get rid of those weights for a minute. And take a full body stretch, reach through your arms, reach through your legs, and then shift through your legs. Right and left, shift through your arms if you're climbing the ladder. Four, three, two, and one. All right, let's grab our foam rollers because it's going to be a nice one to do. Actually, take that back. Take your um, take your smallest, probably a three pound weight. Let me do one external rotation. I wanted to show you again how you can do this. This is my pillow on my arm, but if you need a pillow, you can use it. Take your small weight. Okay, I've got uh, probably, I'm going to guess two to five pounds. Your elbow is glued to your side. You're going to open up wrists. Um, somebody, I think it was Betty, told me they really like doing this on the weight. It's nice to have different ways because, boy, this muscle, these muscles are overstretched during the day and not worked. And people start looking around them and we don't want that, do we? We want to have great posture. It's so important to how you feel good. Now, um, that was 12. If it's getting too heavy, let me just show you how you can modify. You just take it out and you finish 15. Perfect. Let's do the other side. Cross your um, elbow. So it's underneath your head like a pillow. Now, elbow is loose. You're going to open up. You have a 90 degree external rotation. Wrist is flat. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, good. And did we talk about how to make it easier, right? You just do a little like that if you need. We're going to take a Good, we're gonna take a full body stretch when you're done. And reach, reach, reach. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now grab your roller. No, I really need it. Okay, with your roller, we're gonna do some swans. Swans are thoracic extensions. These are so important for your posture. If you don't have a roller there, you can put your hands on the floor and do the intention. If you ever can't do an exercise, you basically want to mimic the intention. So if your arms are long, your shoulder blades are on the back, you're going to inhale and push into the roller. Let your inhale lift you. Oh, that's beautiful. And then your lower. Oh, it's gorgeous. So if you don't have a roller, your hands are on the floor. And keep going. Inhale, push. Feels so good. Three. Hold this up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you. Now, lower. We're going to do another one with the single arm. So get ready. And you'll come up. Now, once you're up, left arm can touch your hamstring. Back to the roller, right arm, back to the roller, inhale, and exhale, and left, and right. One more time, inhale, and right. Both arms come up. Beautiful, and lower. That was so good. All right, child pose. Now with child pose, you can use the roller to get a really neat stretch. Put your arms on top and just drop your head a little five, Three. And we're back. We're going to do a, uh, a core movement. So take the shin on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. You can hold steady, or if you'd like, pull your knees under. Eight, seven, six. I suggest five anytime you need four, three, two, rest. All right, now you're going to do corner to corner. So it's going to be knees to the left corner, knees to the right corner. So go out. Now it's a little bit more oblique. So one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, let's do two more. Nine, ten, and rest. Very good. You can keep your um, booty up and decompress your back this way. We're going to do a pike, which is a hip lift next. So let your elbows come down and you're going to like this for your ass. You're going to take your inhale. The, the roller is closer to the knee, but not under. That way you have more room to lift. And six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Rest. Five. Four. Beautiful. Three. This is really good work, too. Just do the best you can. The next one is going to be a pike, but to the corner, so it's obliques as well. So get ready. You're going to go inhale. Exhale. Lift your hips to the corner. Now come back down to plank. Two. I have to adjust every now and then. That's okay. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Rest. So good. That was wonderful. Now, I know we do this in our class a lot, but it is really good for your um, week's QLs. We're going to do a side plank, but we're going to do it on the roller. So if you want to, if you can do it without the roller, we're just going to hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Lower your hips. So it is harder on the roller, isn't it? Now, back up landing. If you don't have a roller, do this once more. Your feet are going to be on. Cross. Good, Michelle. Keep the inhale. And exhale. Up. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, inhale, and exhale. All right, now reverse planks. <laughs> you all have the planks. All right, so I like the roller because this helps relieve the knees from hyperextending. Your tips towards your shins. Ah, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one lower down. All right, so let's uh, do a uh, quad rollout. You're going to put your elbows on the floor and you're going to put the roller underneath your quad. So, Betty, you've been hiking more. This is going to be really good. Now, you can do this with knees bent and it's harder. You can do it with legs straight. Now you can turn out like your Charlie Chaplin and turn in. Now you're going to start feeling like um, you have different places that are tight. Let's deviate more left leg and then deviate more right leg. Now get up in a front pocket muscle, TFL. And we'll get up on the other front pocket muscle, TFL, high quad. Go uh, IT band, roll out the side of that thigh. Now roll out the other. IT band. Mm -hmm. Good. Terrific. Let's roll out upper back.
deviate left side, deviate right side. Good, see if that helps. You can kind of do extension here, like your hands are helping your head so you don't have your um, neck strain or deflection. Five, four, three, two, inhale, and exhale. Good. You're gonna come up and let's get our calves just for a little bit. Okay. So back of the lower leg, lift up, and go back and forth. Five. Turn out. Outer calf. Good. Turn in, but without hurting, without hitting your, uh, you know, move out wider if you need to, so you don't run into your feet. Good. Perfect. All right. Really good. What shall we do next, huh? Booty. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. All right. So we can put it this way this time. Ankle to thigh, roll out that booty. Now, you're gonna roll out the side that you have your foot up in the ankle. So my left ankle's on my right thigh, I'm rolling out that left booty. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, ankle to Five, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to touch the inner thigh. This is a really fun one. So it looks like frog. Put your inner. Uh, your leg up there, put your elbows down. Now the other leg I've got off the floor and you can't see from this view, but my right foot's curled under at the toes and my knees off the floor. I'm gonna roll out that inner thigh, out, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Inhale, and you see I'm just touching the muscles. So if you need to do more, do more. Take it to the other, now your right inner thigh, lift up your left knee. You're in a little bit of a plank here. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, inhale, and exhale. Looks really good. All right, we're gonna do a hamstring stretch. So take your booty. I'm gonna grab a ring too, because I know that are a band, because I know I tend to like something to use as a prop. So if you do too, grab it. Your booty can be on that roller. Lift up your right leg and just stretch. This is also a hip flexor stretch because this psoas is getting passively extended. This is essential. Just pour that leg down, pour this one up too. And Inhale. Exhale. Switch it up. Now, right leg down, left leg up. Relax the right so as.
five, four, three, two. Now just let yourself either be knee bent or legs long, as long as your rollers are closer to the um, booty gluteal crease down here, not at the low back. You don't, your low back should feel good here, not bad. And just take about five inhale and exhales to re relax. Notice how you feel. Slowly take away the roller and roll your spine down. You're going to feel a lot flatter. Breathe into the diaphragm. Inhale. And on your exhale, slowly come up towards the seat position, facing the front of the room. Let me get my chime. Oh, there it is. Where's my chime? The last thing. Ah, there it is. Into the diaphragm, you're breathing. Take a moment to set an intention for your day. To give yourself appreciation for showing up and doing something good for your body. And knowing that you can come back to that sense of calm by taking a few deliberate breaths anytime you need it during your day, finding peace inside. Whenever you're ready, let your eyes open and come back into the room. Thank you so much for joining. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Hope you feel great. Bye.